One CNC two and a half axis manufacturer provides the ability to work with wireframe geometry and solid models. Notice within the two and a half axis tool pass that one CNC supports pocketing, facing, profiling, plunge profiling, chamfering, corner rounding, hole operations, thread milling, and various types of engraving. Now working with your operations are very easy as well. For example, if you want to edit something, right hand mouse click and select edit operation. These dialog boxes are also very dynamic. Watch what happens there when I change the diameter to an inch and a half. Notice also how one CNC captures the actual solid model and puts it right within the dialog box for ultimate dynamic feedback. I'm going to change that clearance plane to a half inch and you can see how that just hopped down there. Let's change the facing to zigzag and there we go. It's also very easy to change the order of your operations. Just take your left hand mouse button and drag the operation where you want it. And you can also easily suppress your operations from preview, post processing and simulate just by clicking on the on button there to the right. Now one CNC also supports fixturing and tooling. Here I brought in a vise, a stop and some parallels. All that geometry is going to show up within preview. So there you go. There's the part. There's the toolpath preview and you can see all the fixturing as well. This can be sped up or slowed down and of course you can zoom in and zoom out. You also have the ability to make your tooling and holders translucent or completely hide them just by simply clicking on those buttons to the left. Okay, so now let's take a look at Simulate. Simulate is going to show us the actual stock being removed. But more important, Simulate has the ability to also show you the really important parts of your fixturing. Notice how I also have the jaws, the parallels, and the stop. If there was any type of collision there, one CNC would stop and warn us and alert us of that collision. You also have the ability, just like within Preview, to make your tooling and holders translucent or completely hidden if you want just by simply clicking. There's our new backplot, so you can backplot the toolpath right on top of the model within Simulate now. Very, very nice. Let's take a look now at post processing. We're going to select post group. One CNC ships with over 100 post processors, or you can easily create your own post processors if you'd like. I'm going to select a Fanuc post processor and click post. We're going to give that a name and click save. And here's our CNC program. This is a very powerful text editor. You can find, copy, replace. You also have calculators, and you can easily upload or download the CNC program to your CNC. Now let's take a look at the job sheet. This is one CNC setup sheet and this gets output as a PDF file. At the header you have all the pertinent information, cycle time, date, all the tooling. Notice the nice three view graphics here of the part, fixturing, and datum. And at the bottom of the job sheet you have every single machining operation with all of its pertinent information. Very, very informative and powerful. What we're going to do now is take a look at a different type of part. Now this component has lots of pockets. Also notice that we're using a fixture plate for our tooling. We have clamps in all four corners and we also have a bolt and washer to help support the part in the very center. Now the reason why we're looking at this part is because 1CNC provides high speed machining for all of its mill systems at no extra cost. High speed closed, high speed open, and high speed center optimized toolpath for thin walled pockets. Let's take a look now at that high speed toolpath within preview. So there's our solid model, all of our fixturing, and the high speed toolpath. Let's take this a step further. We're going to head into simulate now. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our stock solid model along with all the important tooling. There's our clamps, there's our solid model, and there's the washer and the bolt in the center as well. Now what I'm doing on the left is I'm activating the show rapid collisions and show shank and holder collisions. What this is going to do is warn us if that tool happens to rapid through any tooling or if there isn't enough shank distance to properly machine apart. Now here you can see the simulation stopped. We have a warning on the left that says rapid collision detected. And you can see we just didn't have enough clearance to get across that bolt there. So we can easily go back in the NC manager, head over to clearances. I'm going to change our rapid Z plane to one inch. And you can see that dynamically updates there. It's very nice. We'll click finish. Let one CNC regenerate the toolpath. And now let's quickly go back into simulate. That looks good. We'll click OK and there's the simulation now. So with the powerful rapid collisions and show shank and holder collisions you have all the tools necessary to catch if that tool happens to rapid through any fixturing or if you don't have enough flute length to get the job done. It's very very powerful and efficient. Now let's take a look at machining multiple parts within one CNC. This is very simple and straightforward. In this example we have a part mounted on a hydraulic vise. You can see I've already machined it. 
Now to machine multiple parts, we simply double click on the toolpath group, go to multiple parts. I'm going to use standard repeats one work offset, but notice one CNC does support subroutines. So back to standard repeats one work offset, I'll use copy array. You can have as many rows or columns as you like. In this example, we're going to have one row, so the distance in Y is going to be zero. We're going to have five parts in X, and the distance between each part is going to be seven inches. So we'll click OK to that. Now what we're going to do is assign a work offset to this. Now if you'd like you can select from a pop-up menu, for example G55, or if you have something like a Fidel machine tool you can really type in whatever offset you'd like. So I'll type in E100 and then click OK. Now let's bring the rest of the parts and the fixtures up. So I'm going to turn this layer on and let's go to our preview toolpaths. So preview toolpaths and notice how one CNC is going to machine each part with that particular tool and then when that's finished it'll change tools and then again machine each part. Now with one CNC we can take it a step further if we go into simulate we can take a look at all of our stock models and all of the important fixturing to also collision check for this. So remember we just machined one part then we went into our multiple parts tab told it how many parts we wanted to machine and at that point one CNC takes over we can collision check we can go into preview or we can go into simulate. It's very, very quick, effective, and very, very efficient. Let's take a look at an application where you need to machine multiple sides of a part. This is accomplished very easy within one CNC. Let me demonstrate. In this example, you can see I've already machined the first side. Now what we want to do is take the part out of the vise. We want to face mill the other side. We're going to profile that counter bore, and we'll also machine that chamfer as well. Then we'll take the part out of the vise. We're going to machine that fillet there over on the left, and then we'll drill those five holes. Again, this is very simple to do within one CNC. So here's how you do it. Go to the NC manager and select three axis repositioned. That tells one CNC to machine the side that you select. In this example, I'm going to select side two. I'll click close. All I have to do now is go to work. So let's head over to the main toolbar. We'll select our stock tool paths and facing. I'm going to grab that boundary, right hand mouse click. I'm just going to use the defaults just to get some toolpath up there. So that looks good. See that little arrow to the left of the machining operation? That reminds you that the part has been flipped. So now let's go to profile. We're going to grab that edge right there. We're going to climb cut that. I'm going to use the defaults, but I do want to change the depth here to minus 0.125. That looks good, so we'll click next. I'll just blast through this and click finish, and there's our toolpath. Now let's machine that chamfer. That's just as easy. We'll head back over to the main toolbar, select chamfer edge. We'll grab the edge we want to chamfer. We're going to climb cut that. And again, I'll just use the defaults on this to get our toolpath up here. Now let's take the part and flip it. Now to machine that side, all we have to do is select the proper side. So back over there, we'll come back in, select side three. We'll click close on that. And now all we have to do is just start machining. I'm going to grab that edge so we can climb cut that little fillet there. That looks good. Let's change our depth to minus 0.5 on that. That looks great. So that looks very good. So there's the profiling of the fillet. Now let's drill those five holes. So that's just as easy. We'll head back over, grab drill single, arc center. So that way I can just snap those arc centers really fast. We'll click finish on that. We're going to use a 0.3125 diameter drill on that. That looks great. Again, I'll just use the defaults. Now let's take this into simulation. So we're going to head over to the NC Manager, right hand mouse click, and we're going to select Simulate. We'll click OK. So here we're doing some open pocketing, which 1CNC does a really great job of. So we're open pocket machining there, on that side, and also on that side. Now we're going to do some profiling, we'll do some circular pocket, counter bore, chamfer. Here's some engraving, here's some machining, and some rest machining as well, which 1CNC also does a really good job at. We're going to rotate this around. Now we're going to face mill the other side, counter bore and chamfer. This simulates us taking the part out of the vise, machining the other side there, and that's it. It's very, very simple and straightforward. I do appreciate you watching. I look forward to seeing you in the very next video.